performances. Uh, Gizmo, do you think that, like, Dive is, I would say, is relatively big on Temple of Anubis. Do you think that's going to work out well for them uh, going into the Dumpster Divers completely half 180'd team that they are bringing in now? Uh, you know, honestly, I think on first point, it's definitely going to be a big uh, value being able to take over the high ground, hopefully, being able to knock. Depends on, you know, how well the coordination is. And so far tonight, we've seen their coordination as far as the ult goes really well. Uh, but like you said, we got a half change on roster. This is like going up against, the, uh, you know, Fusion or even the Shock who has such a big roster and everyone's able to do so many things. You don't know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So... And I hope Davion's just playing with us on the ball, <laughs> as I just saw. But, uh, you know, Temple of Anubis is honestly a, probably one of the best two CP maps. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with them. Uh-oh. It looks, uh -oh. Like we, uh, looks like we lost our producer there for a second. So let's see if we can get him back into the action. Uh, we're going to... All right. As long as we got you back in, that's all that matters. All right. So we got you back in. Looks like the defense, I I kind of was expecting it, but I'm still surprised that they're going with the dive on defense. Yeah. Well, you know, you got a lot of high ground you can work with here on the first point. So running the Winston Diva is not terrible, especially if, you know, on the other side is going to be running more of a brawl base. And while everyone's probably going to try to go into that uh, left room where the Mega is, it's a perfect opportunity to wait and follow up on a dive. Maybe an Ana or Moira, Mercy or something to that extent might mm -hmm. be kind of lagging. But you got to remember, both teams have been playing Reaper tonight too. So running the Winston right now is not really looking too great, especially since we do see the Reaper. And, but it's been working though. It's been That's working. the odd part. It's been working against the Reaper. And I, I wonder if it's just more so the ability to like get in and out of fights quickly. That it that's why it's been working against the Reaper. Like Reaper, like although they're able to teleport and Wraith is still a relatively slow character. So uh and we see the hack coming in from Aunt Davion right there as they try to feed into the side room. Hack coming in now from Tommy on to Azadale as they now push into the objective uh golden crow gets taken down by brian as they're able to push now off of that high ground into the objective with azadale now taken out of that mech panda's gonna end up falling to akua right there and like a set of dominoes i think the arctic foxes are gonna be done already the coalescence coming out from seb just looking to secure this objective right now as they get pick after pick akua and davion following up on Wolf and Azadale. And with that, at the two minute, 45 second mark, I imagine we will be seeing Objective A captured and they'll head into Objective Bravo with three minutes, 45 or five minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Three minutes added is I what I meant. I was you off still. Yeah, I'm very shocked that Golden Crow is, st or, uh, Golden Crow is still staying. Golden Crow. <laughs> wow, yeah, we we're going out with all of them today. <laughs> I mean, he's a big buffet for a reaper ult, so it might as well be a golden corral, right? There's a big buffet for that EMP right there coming out from Wolf. Poseidon cleaning up with the coalescence as Wolf and as and Cucumber all get their fill of that fight as well with five minutes still remaining on the clock and only that one ultimate used, they will continue to hold objective Bravo. Right now, their best thing for them is for Cucumber to hide, wait for the beat drop because you have EMP Bomb coming down or you have EMP Shatter. And honestly, right now, we're just running the Winston bubble. EMP Shatter is not that big of a deal. I'd be more worried about the EMP Bomb. That is true. And here it comes, EMP Bomb combo. You predicted and the beat drop coming in as able to get shell shock before the remack as well as wolf panda following up with the blossom as well ends up getting the remaining as davion is able to get cucumber there in the end with the tackle but falls to panda and now with all those ultimates gone that's another 40 seconds wasted off the clock yes now what they have to worry about is you know davion's got the shatter Yep. You know Brian's got Death Blossom, so Death Blossom Shatter is probably what you got to look out for. Panda, you know, honestly, it got him a pick with the Death Blossom, but it wasn't a necessary ult. They had already won the fight. 
just with the Diva Bomb and EMP, or and also with the Beat Drop coming in. Yeah. It was a huge counterplay already. I, you know, if it costs them, it might cost them too much time. That's true. The hack comes in, so Davion not going to be able to use that shatter just yet. Mike can take it out there. It goes. Panda able to take down Davion right there as the fight continues on the objective. Panda following up on Brian with the fist as they go ahead and push them off the objective with the Primal Rage. That's going to allow them to earn up the Coalescence and the EMP for next fight as well as as setting 20% from a Diva Bomb. Right now, this fight is really coming down to the Sombra play. Wolf was able to build an EMP after one fight and already has That's it huge. again. That's so huge. that is a very, very big difference right now between him and Tommy. Of course, Tommy does have his EMP now, but at the end of that fight, it was only about 78%. That is true, and Davion ready to use that shatter as they push in. I don't think they realize Wolf has the EMP ready again, though. Diva Bomb coming out, but not going to get the value it's looking for. Just going to keep them off the objective. Now the Blossom coming out from Brian ends up getting e -e eaten from Az. Az has just got a big appetite tonight. Shatter now coming out from Davion, able to get two, and the cleanup crew comes in as well as feeding back into the fight as we see the D the beat drop and emp coming in from akua and tommy akua and chill shot end up getting picks but cucumber follows up on to davion first tick second tick on the objective almost getting ready to get that there but the jump comes in from golden crow able to touch the objective ever so quickly and now here comes the primal just before the hack oh no C9 coming out. They all stepped off the objective at just the wrong time. I think I think there might have been a diva bomb somewhere in there, but I might have been mistaken. Two minutes, 19 seconds on the clock for the side of the dumpster divers as they head to the defense. Now, having time on any two CP is a huge advantage. But mm -hmm. honestly, to me personally, when it comes to this particular map of Anubis, it's not really the time that matters. It's just how much you can push to the first point. Because once you capture that first point, depending on how you do it the first time, uh, it should just be uh, you know rinse and repeat on the second. So, you know, it took them a hot minute for them to get set up on dumpsters. But you know, if Arctic Fox is able to you know roll through, especially since they're going to be running this dive again. And as far as we've been able to see, Wolf has technically been the better Sombra. As far as hacks gone, because you can get more value out of hacking uh, Davion. Okay. Uh, EMPs have been huge. I think one thing that kind of killed them in that fight when they popped EMP is when it comes to the Diva Bomb EMP combo, you got to look and see when you're going to use that EMP. <coughs> if you throw the EMP first, it's obviously the bomb's coming. But if you throw the bomb first, you know, the team didn't clearly know that Wolf had EMP. They were all together. So you probably well. could have got a little more better combo if you just let the diva bomb go first and let it like i said it needs to be a mid fight kind of combo not a that, beginning fight that's true interesting combo coming out for the side of dumpster divers as we see the tracer ash with the kua back on the mercy once again dive coming out for the side of arctic foxes it's almost like that's the only thing they know how to play anymore <laughs> as as we've seen the changing meta really really doing a number on many teams trying to figure out what the uh, the best course of action is. They're going to move their way to the high ground as we see Tommy trying to work in their back line. Shellshock trying to work in the front, ends up getting taken out. And it looks like we uh, lost the producer. Uh, we lost producer again, but we got to keep going. We can't. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we lost producer, and it looks like that pause did come in. Typically, I don't think we do that for production so just just a note for the future um but everyone is as we see them frozen in time the uh the objective is currently being contested between a demect shell shock uh versus cucumber and golden crow uh as dale as a dale getting ready to jump on the objective as well as we see panda kind of fighting um fighting off the side against um, Brian and Akua uh, on that high ground. And Poseidon, I think, is underneath them, under the bridge. 
So very interesting positioning <laughs> that everyone is kind of frozen in with uh, Seb just kind of hanging off to the side in the health back room right off the objective. Uh, probably uh, trying to keep Davion alive as we see that they are currently hacked by Wolf. So uh, will be interesting to see how this all goes down. It looks like we are back in the fight. So whenever teams are ready and raring to go, we will get this fight started once again. Here we go. Back into the action as Panda able to take down Brian, Poseidon, and Panda able to get that follow-up as Davion able to get the tackle on to Poseidon, but the picks just keep coming in. The dive is fast and furious from the Arctic Foxes. And once again, with just a little under three minutes on the clock, they will grab Objective Alpha and get five minutes, 45 seconds to move into Objective Bravo. Not that much of a time difference compared to Dumpster. And I think right now, probably mm -hmm. Dumpster had, you know, started on the Sombra instead of the Tracer, which now Tommy has switched. I think that could have made a little difference on the time bank. I agree. But Wolf is just uncontested being able to get all those major hacks, you know, stopping Tommy from being disruptive in the background, getting uh, Davion with his shield. It's just, it's the somber game right now. That is true. And able to get that hack onto Davion once again, the coalescence comes out big. Coming out from Davion though, able to take down Poseidon, but Brian falls shortly before that diva bomb coming out as well as Primal and Blossom. They're just pulling out all of the stops. First tick right now at the five minute mark. As we see the Primal going for Brian as the tail ends up getting that second tick. Team kill ringing loud and proud as Lucio trying to charge everyone back in. 99.8% on the objective as the EMP comes out from Wolf and the cleanup is just massive. Diva Bomb Cup, wait, what? Oh, what? You know, I've seen this happen so many times lately where like Reaper and Wraith or Diva gets D-Meg, their own point. And it, uh, the, all right, devs, Jeff, what, what have you done to this game lately? Because it, it just seems like a C9 happens without even purposely doing it. Yeah, that's, that's weird. I okay. think in normal circumstances, that probably wouldn't matter. But because there was so little percentage remaining, it makes a big difference. Like... If they, if they had a, uh, and it looks like Eeyore um, in the uh, spectators chat saying, uh, Diva Mech doesn't have a hitbox. It's, immortali it's immortality frames. So she's technically not touching the objective. So you know that, Interesting. That's, that's I didn't know that. The question though, like where's the height on the thing? Because technically when she pops out, she should, uh, okay. So I, I don't think, I don't think it's the aspect of she's shooting too high in the air though, because it's yeah. Lucio, you can be all the way at the top of objective yeah, Bravo exactly. and still that, capturing it. So it, it I, must be like, she's teleporting out of the mech and that like nanosecond of her teleporting out of the mech, she's not on the point. That yep, and, and I think that that was just a really unique scenario. Normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but because they were 0.2% away from capturing the objective, it made all the difference. So it really did. How about, how about that? There's there's some Overwatch trivia for you there, folks. <laughs> Might should see be, a local be. uh, beat drop lately. Hey, me. See what that you is know. right. All right, let's go ahead and get into the action here. It looks like we see the dive coming out on the defense. Didn't work out so well for uh, for Arctic Foxes last time around, and it looks like it's not going to work out here either. Shellshock gained the first pick on to Golden Crow. Uh, Tommy and Wolf back on those Sombras once again as they just charge into the objective. And even though they only had two minutes remaining on the clock due to the uh, decrease in objective time, it looks like the, whoa, a big contest continuing right now as uh, Davion ends up tackling an empty mech, but the picks come in from Shellshock and Brian. With a minute remaining on the clock, or less than a minute, rather, they will get an additional 30 seconds, giving them about a minute 20 seconds, maybe, if they actually capture the rest of the objective and move into Objective Bravo with uh, quite a few ultimates getting ready to be online. Already popping the Coalescence, trying to sustain that fight for the Shatter to come in from Davian. That is true. Barely a time to hold my breath as Azadale gets taken down. Big Woo! EMP! Six-man 
Brian coming out from Wolf, but gets taken down by Tommy Panda. Able to follow up on Brian and the MP now coming out from Tommy as the Diva Bomb ends up grabbing Golden and Poseidon. Almost getting that first tick on the objective, but not just there yet. Blossom coming out, but ends up getting hacked out by Tommy. Panda trying to stay on the objective, trying to regain control as Wolf coming back out on the tracer. Able to grab Tommy as Azdale following up on Akua and Panda follows up on Shellshock with 30 seconds remaining on the clock and only a shatter to their name. This is going to be a hard fight for the dumpster divers. What a great recovery by Artifox right there. All honesty, if it wasn't probably for that, you know, contest on first point, it might have been a four point cap just for the dumpsters. Yep, it could have been so close yet so far away. Got to get those picks quickly. 10 seconds remaining on the clock as Damian charges in, ends up getting the pick onto Golden Crow, but the shield protects everybody else as Brian trying to follow up on some picks of their own. Panda trying to work their way into the back line, but just keeps getting booped away. Now the hack comes in onto Azadale as the beat drop gets followed up on by Cucumber. Now the primal coming out from Golden Crow, just trying to push anyone and everyone off that objective right now. If they can keep them off, that means they can't get a percentage. Coalescence now coming out from Seb as they're trying to see if they can get picks, keep everybody healed up, and it is working. Shellshock now or sorry, Brian with the Blossom right there. Almost first tick on the objective as Azadale gets immediately d as soon as they touch the objective. First tick on the objective. Second tick coming up now in overtime. Third tick getting ready to come down as the Diva Bomb ends up taking down Wolf. But Golden Crow and Panda just barely able to touch it enough time. Overtime continuing to tick away as the feed continues to come in. Cucumber and Panda fall. And in overtime, we will see Dumpster Divers take objective Bravo, making it four to two here on Temple of Anubis. I said it once, I'll say it again. Tonight's match is all about grit. And right now, dumpsters Woo! are definitely grinding their teeth with how hard they fought for that fourth point. Uh -huh. uh, I'd be honestly happy to see, uh, you know, them hold Arctic Fox here, taking the map. But at the same time, I kind of want to see it go on to the Arctic Fox need to get a fifth point. It's mm -hmm. going to be very interesting, especially with four minutes and 26 seconds. They were able to capture the second point so quickly. The first point gave them a little trouble, but I mean, that is to be expected, you know, running the dive into the Sombra Reaper. <laughs> but I think right now being able to not have to worry about going into the little cubby and pushing their way through is just probably better because they're able to spread out and give Wolf the time he needs to get around and hack the more valuable target. But this time with Tommy on the Sombra instead of the Tracer, He's got a, one more target, not only to look for, but to watch out for, because Tommy's going to be able to stay in Viz and wait for him to pop out and maybe even hack him before he can get out of the fight. That is true. That is true. But four minutes, 26 seconds on the clock, and plus the extra 30 seconds they'll get moving into Objective Bravo gives them plenty of time to keep things going. Uh, we might actually end up seeing possibly six points tonight depending on how much grit and determination these teams have going for them tonight the dive already prepared to move their way onto the objective but lots of shots coming in here it comes big old dive as we see uh golden crow getting booped into the sky the hack comes in on to panda from tommy but not a lot of follow-up to be had just yet as wolf ends up hacking the side room as a dale and uh, Cucumber trying to move in onto the side, but going to end up being a little unsuccessful right there as the rest of the team moves up to the high ground, looking to see if they can grab control of that objective. Already a minute off the clock, as we see now, Golden Crow immediately getting hacked as they drop it down into the objective. The rest of the team charges in, takes them out of the fight. Here comes the DMAC and the Coalescence now coming out from Seth, looking to see if they can hold everything together, get some picks of their own as the will fall as Tommy follows up on to Panda. Now the hack comes in on to Cucumber, able to get that health back, but is getting chased down quickly by a shell shock and will end up falling. Three minutes, 15 seconds remaining on the clock as they prepare for their next push. And Wolf has EMP. Oh my God. Yeah, Wolf is honestly was just <laughs> standing on the stairs, just spraying down the whole team of Dunster. Wow. Building that EMP. And with no really follow up ult, it might not matter, but at the same time, EMP is technically speaking a uh, ult winning fight. But Tommy now has his EMP. <laughs> That's true. Whoa. Big shatter though. With the follow up EMP coming in from Tommy. So 
That 30 seconds going to get taken right off of the clock right there. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining as we wait for the next push from the Arctic Foxes. But now the Arctic Foxes have two ults they can combine with once uh, Azadel gets their mech bat. They'll have D uh, EMP Diva Bomb and Death Blossom. So Ooh. it's just a matter of picking. Ooh, that's a huge stagger right there, though, by Akua. Yeah, that is not going to be good for them. They're going to have to wait for Azadale to get back into the fight. And while they wait, that is more time off of the clock. But with five ultimates online, they have to be patient and work effectively. Because if they don't, EMP Ooh. comes out big but misses Akua. So the beat comes in and now comes the Blossom. Out from Panda and the Diva Bomb. We see Akua and Davion both falling as now the Diva Bomb comes out from Shell Shock, but doesn't get what it is looking for. All those ultimates out. Brian trying to save the day on the objective, but gonna be ineffective as they get eaten up by Azadale. That's gonna be objective Alpha. Oh, as Tommy tries to, to, to hold the objective, but 1v6, not a good, not a good look on you, fam. That's going to be two minutes now to move into Objective Bravo, and they're the only ones that have ultimates online. Tommy's actually about to come up on an EMP, so that one That's little true. thing he might not have been a bad idea, being able to beat Wolf, who's been just building EMP like crazy. I think that might have been a smart play. Plus, you know, the one second respawn, not that bad. That's true. I can agree with that. And now we're seeing Poseidon coming uh, on with the Coalescence as well. As we see the hack almost coming in onto Azadale. Uh, Shellshock does end up getting hacked as the Coalescence comes out from Poseidon. Golden Crow sending into a primal rage. The rest of the team, Woo! big scatter! Davion just absolutely oh. uncontested. Here comes the EMP as well, but not able not able to get picks. We're not seeing any picks. As the tail ends up getting taken out of mech, but that's about all we're seeing so far. And there we go, Davion able to take down Panda, but Poseidon trying it up, taking Davion out of the fight. 60 seconds remaining on the clock as the fight continues onward, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and pull out of the objective, but just briefly to regroup. Yeah, and with Wolf's EMP coming up, as long as he can find Akua, they've probably got That's at right. least two dicks, and then, you know, fighting in overtime, and Panda also has Death Boston coming up, and a Diva Bomb. Right now, the ults are pretty uh, capable of uh, Arctic Foxes, but you also have Shell Shock with Diva Bomb and save with Coalescence once again. Well, this is going to be rough. Let's see if they can make it happen. Tommy already getting the hack onto Azadale, so we're not going to see that Diva Bomb come in just yet. Panda on the high ground, ready to use that Blossom when the EMP drops, and there it comes! Blossom EMP! Coming out, but again, Akua ends up being missed. Diva Bomb now coming out from Shell Shock as they try to remain on the objective. Diva Bomb now Ooh. out from Azadale, and both trade kills on the objective. Brian able to get picks of their own as Tommy and Shell Shock following up on Panda and Cucumber. The only one left on the objective is Golden Crow, but gets taken down by Brian and the coalescence of Seb as overtime ticks away Arctic Foxes will get chilled out of the objective as the dumpster divers take the victory on Temple of Anubis, tying it up one to one before the half. <laughs> yeah, what a great last fight. Oh, and Wolf with a beautiful, beautiful highlight intro right there. Just taking it away. Uh, Wolf, amazing somber plays. Uh, like I said, you know, we were talking about for this map, you know, the difference between, you know, running the combos and just running around the plays, the player, mm -hmm. typically. Uh, 2CP, technically speaking, usually does favor that kind of style of play because you're usually given more of an area to hide. You're given more time to regroup, contest a point. Whereas, mm -hmm. you know, something like a King of the Hill map like we had on Nepal, the combos and all, you're just trying to stagger them out using the ults trying to you know make sure you have ults for the next fight and all that. So I think uh, coming into halftime, Arctic Fox are probably going to probably look and see where their combos have been going wrong and where they can improve on. Uh, mm -hmm. Dumpster Divers are going to be like, trying to probably figure out how can you shut down Wolf Sombra? Uh, you know, maybe figuring out how you can get Davion to get better you know value out of his shatters because Davion's had some big shatters tonight. But unfortunately, we have Not a lot really of follow-up. Follow and that's partially to due to the fact 
that, you know, the nerf that happened, you know, just a few patches ago on the shatter, you know, they don't stay on the ground as long. So you got to be yep, ready. So I get think quick. They can adapt to following up with combos. They're going to be the better team tonight. And right now they're showing that they're still in this. So we're going to probably see a map five tonight. I call it right now. I, I, I really hope so. Gizmo, go ahead, get yourself a drink, use the restroom, whatever y'all need to do. Overwatch Tranquility we will be back in about 10 minutes. Winner's Club of Tranquility? I'm back! That's right. You thought I was done. You thought I was finished. Over. But it's gonna take a lot more than that to stop me. 
If you think that saving 10% is the tippy top of the mountain, I've got news for you, my friend. We're only halfway there. That's right. I'm here with some inside information. A Mr. Disrespect exclusive. Today, I'm going to give you a deal on saving more than 10%. How about 20%? 25%? 30%? Mr. Disrespect, how's that even possible? Well, I'm going to tell you. Right now, all month long, it's September at Twitch. All month long, if you subscribe to OW Tranquility Twitch channel, you save 20% on one month subscription, 25% off a three month subscription, and 30% off a six month subscription. That's right, Twitch runs a deal like this every September. So now is the perfect time to set your Tranquility subscription up on a six month cycle. And you'll be ready to save again when it comes time to renew again September of 2021. But mister, I I'm still not sure if I should subscribe. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna personally select a winner from Tranquility subscribers at the end of this month. And I'm gonna give away these right here. These Virtual Boy prototype glasses. Okay, they've got 4D IPS.